Well, so we're consolidating all the issues this morning. <laughs> no, I thought you were going to say we're consolidated. Okay, yeah. we're consolidated now. We're all seated. So yeah. uh, let's put some is spice into it. Individually, we failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I don't think we failed. Um, those who were supposed to supervise us failed to supervise us. No, I think us. as individuals, we're not as strong. Uh, united yeah. together, exactly. right? Exactly, so we're yeah. consolidated. Yeah. But don't yeah. worry, um, you uh, viewers who are, <laughs> who are great customers, don't worry. Um, your depositors. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Except you now have to pay 5.7 billion to keep us. <laughs> To keep us in a yeah. fine, fine thread. Yeah. Yeah, but you yeah. know, over time, Ghana is becoming, has become interesting over the last two years. You know, a lot of things um, have been coming to the fore, for which we thought really were not the case. You know, like maybe a household that has a head, you know, everything was rosy and everything. And apparently, the car you were driving was rented, usually you didn't know. <laughs> the house you were living in had been mortgaged, used as a down payment for more, you don't know, or maybe some collateral for something. And all of a sudden, it all comes crumbling down. Or even worse, it wasn't actually your house. Yeah. You know. You yeah. know. So, <laughs> or maybe <laughs> your, oh, or maybe your your that uh, side chick, you were having some <laughs> nice <laughs> rover by the side. You were getting Dubai tickets all the time, spending money, and all of a sudden, you saw that Gosh. your man was in the grips of the police. Things are fraud. really that bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know, well, good it. morning to everybody watching the show right now. Uh, we're about reviewing the newspapers. Mm. We call ourselves the Consolidated Three. <laughs> <laughs> so we thank you for your company. Apologies, we couldn't read your messages yesterday, but I promise you, if you sent me a message this morning in good time, I'll be able to share it. So send your WhatsApp and your text messages. Uh, let's dig straight into the newspapers. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Ghanaian Times seems like a good place to start. And of course, who is surprised at the banner headlines? Mm -hmm. Five local banks collapse. Bank of Ghana merges Unibank, Royal, Sovereign Beige, and Construction Banks into Consolidated Bank Ghana mm. Limited. Uh, also, Interplus launches state-of-the-art irrigation system to boost agri-production. And President slams political opponents for desperate attempt to tag him and family as corrupt. Also, New Ameri deal is complete ripoff, according to the minority, and I think we've been aware of that position of theirs for quite a while now. Uh, but yesterday, uh, even more. Okay, so you know, like when it was the other way, Ameri was a fantastic deal, and yeah. the opposition then, now in government, Ameri mm. was uh, the, the worst. The worst. Mm -hmm. Now, turn it, Ameri is the best. Uh, and, and then the new the one, West. the yes. new one is that's the because the two deals are very different. In fact, <laughs> the new deal is not an Ameri deal at all. Not Ameri at all. has been removed. Mm. From Ameri the consolidated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, consolidated. No, I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good word to add to our lexicon. <laughs> it's not bad. Oh I agree. I agree. Uh, but it's going to it's going to spark nightmares in the minds of some people, mm. some Ghanaians, particularly yeah. shareholders of these five banks. Um, so, r quickly, uh, running through a few of the details of these stories. So, Interplus has launched a state-of-the-art irrigation mm. system. It's quite clever. Mm -hmm. uh, it drip feeds the water straight to the roots yeah. of the plants so that uh, the water doesn't get lost through yeah. evaporation. Now, they've designed this specifically to take okay advantage guys, of Okay, guys, I have to leave to you. I want to... Oh, uh, I'm told going? that the RICS and finance um, lecturer is calling, so ah. I have to go make... Uh, right, ma Roland meeting. will be bringing oh, yeah. us an interview, a live yeah, interview, oh, yeah. with, um, right. with uh, <laughs> an <laughs> academic who has been looking at this uh, situation with the banks. It's going mm -hmm. to be quite fascinating. Uh, Roland will bring all the details. Stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. uh, Mamonde, that just leaves you and I... Uh, We're still in consolidated, all right. <laughs> Indeed, and of course... <laughs> Uh, Interplast's uh, new invention is quite yeah. clever. They are hoping to take advantage of the Planting for Food and Jobs initiative. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea is that if farmers can invest in this um, irrigation system, it's going to stay. Is, is irrigation is so important, isn't it? It's yeah. the way you can farm anywhere in the world, anywhere, no matter what the terrain is. Uh, you, if you find the appropriate mm -hmm. crop, you can farm successfully if you have a good uh, irrigation system. I so saw it actually at work on TV yesterday, as in the, the yes, new system yes. that Interplus. Very and clever, thought, isn't it? I thought this mm. is really innovative. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Let's hope farmers can invest in it and take advantage. Also, the president has been slamming uh, his political opponents for, des for desperate attempts to tag him and his family as corrupt. 
I want to read his words. Uh, he says, I want to say that the stringent and desperate efforts being made by my political opponents to tarnish me and members of my family with corruption will simply not wash. I did not come into public life to make money out of public service. And members of my family know fully well that they have to behave and are not involved in anything untoward. I'm aware that you give a dog a bad name in order to hang it, but this dog will not be hanged. Um, and, well, two things I have to say about that, Lomadi. I don't know how you feel, but um, just two things. For me, yeah. the first one is this. Um, I don't know how comfortable I am hearing the president say uh, that he can guarantee the behavior of every member of his family. Uh, I think human beings are human beings. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, uh, as a president, what you should be telling us to, to, to make us feel confident is that even if a family member of yours does the wrong thing, you will prosecute them. Not that your family members don't do wrong. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't know how I feel about that particular comment. Uh, th the second thing I want to say is, uh, Mr. President, this is how it works. If you put your members, o members of your family in government positions, people will criticize them. You've put them in a position of um, responsibility and authority. That's what comes with it. Mm. You yourself as a president uh, have been facing these criticisms. So why does it surprise you when people level them at your family members? If you'd rather not hear that about your family, then yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you want to think <laughs> about uh, uh, how many of the positions you give them. Um, but members of your family who are not in government, uh, why would they also come up for criticism of corruption. I wonder about that. Mm. And, uh, and I wonder what your answer would be to that. But yeah. All right. Uh, so we're through with the Ghanaian Times. Let's mm. move on to the Daily Graphic newspaper. Front page of the graphic. Jen Adukwe Mensa is new EC boss. That's full stories on page 60, but we're very familiar with this. Of course. Uh, and yesterday, the story was a, an injunction uh, a possible injunction, um, you know, thrown out by the Supreme Court. They say if the substantive matter is determined, this appointment could be overturned. So we wait mm. to see. For now, Jan Mensa is uh, the Electoral Commission boss. So if you're just waking up because of all the consolidated issues, <laughs> you haven't <laughs> realized that. Uh, on the front page of the paper, mm. there you have it. That is our electoral commission boss you know those red gold green cones with the black star on them yeah they, do they contain anything or is it that's what is that where they put your appointment letter Maybe. you roll it up in a scroll and then the put it in the only thing i remember mm. from seeing that is somebody dashing me that and i used it as a susu box that's what <laughs> i remember i don't know what they put inside was there. it a an appointee? When I was very little. Was I it an appointee who dashed it to you? I want to believe so. Mm. <laughs> Otherwise, where did he get it from, right? <laughs> but um, interestingly, I mean, she said when she was appointed there, she said that um, she was going to build on the good work of her predecessors mm. and, uh, and continue from there. Uh, also, the president took the opportunity to warn some judges that were appointed mm. that uh, they'd better keep it clean, keep their noses clean. Mm. Otherwise... Um, he would not hesitate to prosecute them. Um, yeah, mm. he, he, he didn't guarantee their, uh, <laughs> their behavior so you, you on that occasion. Uh, you know what was interesting? Whilst the, the Bank of Ghana governor was, was given that announcement, so you know the press conference, the conversation thereafter, the president was also getting ready mm. to appoint some judges yes. and also confirm the appointment. Uh, of, of the Gina Electoral so. Commission boss mm. and uh, the other commissioners. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, the five banks collapse uh, issue is on the front page of the paper. Consolidated mm. Bank Limited takes over assets. Uh, story on page three. Uh, Interplus unveils new irrigation technology. So basically the three major stories yesterday all covered mm. on the front page. But if you look at the center spread, it's still fallout of that graphic stomach bank breakfast meeting supported by Joy Business. Yep. Agric subs, uh, subsidy policy needs structuring, according to Otin Jesse. So more of the conversations captured mm. in the center spread of the paper. Can tanker vehicles meet required standards, according to the Ghana Standards Authority? That, and that was, was said to you yesterday, yeah, exactly. wasn't it? Exactly. Uh, two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's patronize locally made goods. And another day edges 
Ghanaians. That's the boss of the graphic mm. communications group, by the way. And it's, uh, you know, and I love the graphic. They do this all the time. You know, when we have the breakfast meeting, uh, irrespective of what is happening, they keep the conversation going. Yes, indeed. In the daily graphic, days after the, graf the, the meeting. Which is uh, important, yeah. yeah it is. Mm. On the back page of the daily graphic newspaper, uh, Sino Hydro deal to be used for infrastructure development. Uh, you can read on. Uh, there was a press conference yesterday. There's Anthony Cabo addressing the picture. The insert there on the, on the back page of the paper is him addressing the press conference. And then Kujopo Nkrumah uh, sitting right there by him. Picture taken by Innocent Owusu. And then Ghana issued accreditation to inspect, certify fish products for exports. Mm, very mm. stringent regulations we have to meet there before we can export our fish. Yeah. So I guess it's good for us. Uh, it mm -hmm. will improve our quality. Yeah. Um, and trust as well. Yes, yes, mm. indeed. Our reputation uh, on the market yeah. is better off for it. Okay. Shall we do the daily guide? Yeah. Okay, Gene Mensah is EC boss. That's a fair, no doubt. F uh, five banks crash. They prefer to go with crash rather than collapse in the <laughs> daily guide. And they also say Bank of Ghana takes over with consolidated Bank. Now, three other stories on the front page. You can't hang me, says President. I think that's about the give a dog a bad name mm -hmm. story. Uh, Access Bank I meets remember the dead goat syndrome. You know, yeah. when you were reading about the dog, yeah. then I remembered the dead goats. Indeed. Yeah. Yes. But I, I'm not saying anything more. Oh, so shall I add more? No, no, no. Move on, I okay. think. <laughs> of course, for those who don't know about the dead goat <laughs> matter, former president uh, said he's like a dead goat when it comes to criticism. The current president says uh, he's <laughs> this dog will not be hanged. So, uh, you know, uh, mm. we've gone from era of the goat to era of the dog, right? All right, then. So, uh, also on the front page, Access Bank meets 400 million Ghana CD minimum capital. Well, look, some banks are actually. Um, uh, this is the meet. time to rub it in if you have it. Indeed, yeah. indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 400 million. <laughs> you have been collapsed. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> also, Chinri Hesse is the new University of Ghana ah, um, yeah. Chancellor. Uh, is it Chancellor vice, or Vice, vice chancellor? chancellor? Well, this headline said the, chancellor. the Chancellor is reserved for the President. That's indeed. Yeah. Oh, oh, for University of Ghana, it's always the President who's the yeah. Chancellor. Okay, good. Um, right, now, Access Bank meets minimum capital. The story is on um, uh, page 8. You can learn more. Um, but also, uh, You Can Hang Me is on page 6. Chinri Hesse is the one I was looking for. Here it is. Uh, yes, uh, Professor Ebenezer Odru Owusu uh, is the Vice Chancellor, University of Ghana. Professor Yao Chun is the... Oh, no, 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 no. This is the Chancellor. This Mary is? Chinnery Hesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Vice Chancellor? No, because Ebenezer Odru Wusu is... Apologies, the, wrong the info. Vice Chancellor, yeah. Okay, so perhaps it was the former president, right? Was it? Mm. I don't know. But I now it's so. um, Mary Chinnery Hesse. Congratulations to her. Um, That's a really, really high office. Yes, indeed. Well, yeah, with everything uh, that she's done in her life. I, it's this befitting, is isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Right, well, should we talk about these banks? I mean, they are in every, oh, yes. every, every uh, single, you know, newspaper. So, uh, you know, we, we wanted to share some of the personalities behind some yeah. of the decisions, the reason we are here, because, you yeah. know, you and I are going to have to pay something. Our uh, taxes are going to be used, yes. uh, you know, to hold this great consolidated did I say great? Okay. Uh, you, well, leave the yeah. greats. <laughs> let's talk consolidated. Indeed. So first of all, we, we thought, we find let's out find out who's behind. Well, first, let's find out what they did wrong. Okay. And then let's look at the faces behind these decisions. Absolutely. So let's start with Unibank. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, in the daily graphic, they've broken down the things that Unibank did that mm. led them to where they are today. So in the case of Unibank, uh, which has been under administration since March this year, uh, the official administrator has found that it was beyond rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. okay? Since March, they've been looking at the bank to see whether indeed they can revive uh, this bank or restore their fortunes from uh, how far they have fallen, and the decision is no, it can't happen. Unibank has given out amounts totaling 1.6 billion Ghana cities to shareholders and related parties in the form of loans and advances without due process. 
and in breach of relevant provisions of the Banks and Specialized Deposit Taking Institutions Act, uh, which is Act 930, instituted in 2016, in the final year of, uh, of um, the, the previous parliament. Okay, so in addition, these shareholders and related parties had also been given amounts totaling 3.7 billion Ghana cities, which were neither granted through the normal credit delivery process, nor reported as part of the bank's loan portfolio. Now, here's the best part. They were also not secured with collateral and attracted no interest income for Unibank. Altogether, shareholders and related parties of Unibank had taken out 5.3 billion Ghana cities, which constitutes 75% of the total assets of the bank. Mm -hmm. All right, so think about it. 5.3 billion Ghana cities of the assets of the bank were given out to shareholders and their related companies as loans. One, without going through the proper banking process. Two, without even registering them as loans. And three, without attracting any interest. That's 75% of the total assets of the bank given out to shareholders and their related companies. Mm -hmm. With no interest on them. No interest. And I don't even know whether they were repaying the principal. <laughs> but basically, this is what they did with 75. So, so who sat in a boardroom and said, let's do this? Unfortunately, the site is down, so we can't check out We can't um, show you the, the, board. the, the faces but of the yeah. Unibank but board. But what we can share is that of Construction Bank. So here we go uh, with the members making up the board. At least it doesn't exist. You're waking up to hmm. a non-existent construction bank. Do you want to know what they did wrong first? Yeah. Okay. It's very quick. Uh, now, the governor explained that Bank of Ghana found that initial minimum paid up capital of the construction bank of 34 million Ghana cities was funded by loans obtained from the National Investment Bank, contrary to central bank regulation. So yes, you can't do this. You can't borrow money put it in an account and say, I have capital, so give me a banking license. All right. That's what this bank did, construction Here are the bank. faces uh, behind the board uh, until, you know, uh, it ceased to exist. Uh, mm. So Dr. Ashari uh, Kufu uh, chaired the board. Yep. Stephen Poggi, Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director. Richard now, this Yow is important. Adol. Stephen Poggi used to be the Managing Director at NIB. Mm. Was it NID or ADB? Not I'll sure. I'll double check. All right, let's screw up. There are mo uh, more members there. He got uh, fired, by there. the way. Uh, Major General Kwame Opoku Edusei, a board member. Christian Ponsateria, also board uh, member. And Sally Amoa, a board member as well. Um, okay, so, uh, and then uh, there's Vivian Lamte and Kwesi Edu Mante, board secretary. So there you have it. Except that, of course, uh, this does not exist uh, today. Hmm. So from the construction bank, we move to another that we found. Their site is very much alive. It's the Beige Bank. Uh, and these are the members behind the bank. There's a very familiar face. We uh, should please the take screenshots. Press. Yes, take mm -hmm. screenshots because these uh, <laughs> websites will be going down very soon. Okay, so there's Kofi uh, Otutu Edulabi, uh, board chairman. Mike Nyinaku, CEO, Richard Edupoku, also a member of the board, Theophilus Adjomako, member, Yao Oforia J, member, Wilson Kortete, member, and Dr. Elsie Effa Kaufman, a member, and George Apa Kwabe, board secretary. So that's uh, those that constituted the board for the Beige Bank as it existed until yesterday, uh, later in the day yesterday at least. Uh, and then from, from this, I think we go to Royal, uh, Patrick. Mm. Okay. Um, no, the Sovereign Bank. The Sovereign mm. Bank. So we got three of the websites still very alive uh, this morning. So mm. you know, we're checking out some of the, the members behind the decisions that we've heard the governor announced yesterday. Dr. Kwame Echampong uh, Che, chairman. Dr. Tete Nete, director, mm. Mr. Abdullahi Abubakar, director, John uh, Okwesi Arthur, director, Afote Odatefio, director, John Reader, managing director, and there's another member down there. Okay, that's uh, Abdul Samet Idrisu, deputy managing director. Right, now, uh, the first name there, 
Uh, let's have a look. Uh, That's the chairman of the board. He's the chairman of the board. He's also mm. the, the founder and owner of Glyco, I believe. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, so there are some serious mm. uh, connections there. Stephen Poggi resigned from ADD. He used to be the managing director at ADD. ADD. Okay, in connection with that, uh, and I'm taking this from the finder, the business finder, the governor also uh, made some announcement yesterday, except that, uh, of course, you know, the, the headlines is the five, the, the five banks that were collapsed. Mm. But this is it. Uh, government is to recapitalize Agricultural Development Bank and the National Investment Bank to meet the 400 million, uh, yeah. the, the 400 million Ghana cities new minimum capital requirement mm. required by the Bank of Ghana. The move forms part of measures by government to support indigenous banks. But government is a sole shareholder in NIB while it also owns majority stick in ADB. Mm. Remember, we've got a December 28 deadline uh, where the minimum capital has been raised from 120 million uh, Ghana cities to 400 million Ghana cities. If you can't raise it, just come together and you can get it. Uh, those who have it, they're rubbing it in. Uh, mm. I think, uh, what is it Ecobank that's gone way beyond that? Yes, you yes. Know? And then yeah. this morning, Access Bank's also been talking Indeed. about. Yeah, yeah. Mm. it's a it's a great opportunity for for advertising and marketing, right? Yeah, yes. Come to Echo Bank. We have more <laughs> than, more than the capital, <laughs> or, or you know, uh, it, it, it so save yeah. with NIB. <laughs> Government has got our back. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so I, I did promise that we will read the messages that mm. came in um, uh, early. Uh, so, uh, could you let's do myjohnline.com real quick so we sure. can have time and do the messages sure, let's have before a look we online. go. And a uh, number of stories there. During the mid-year budget review, the finance minister stated that the infrastructure deficit, which is in the region of 30 billion U.S. dollars, uh, should be adequately tackled with the agreement. Uh, and, of course, this agreement is the bauxite mining agreement at Atua Forest. Uh, they say, um, well, uh, Atua Forest will be worse off, apparently. Um, okay, Mahama Boy is using deceit to get support. Nabu wants minority leadership to act. Uh, the Joseph uh, Nabu, of course, has said that uh, he was tricked into signing something. But yesterday, here on the AM show, uh, Roxen Dafia Mako said uh, categorically that uh, there are 95 members of parliament who have signed up to be part of this group petitioning uh, former President Mahama mm. to, to run again. And Nabu is not one of those. But 95. he rocks and is. He rocks and is. Okay. Yes. All right. Nabu claims that there are 25 mm. members of parliament who are part of who this thought group. Who they were signing yeah. uh, a register. Uh, uh, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's an interesting one. But uh, yeah, I, I, we, 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 of course, we, it will be interesting to hear from uh, the leadership. Indeed. Uh, the um, minority uh, leader uh, in particular. Uh, Harun himself, uh, there was a statement attributed to him on social media where the st w it appeared that he was saying he will not uh, support former president um, Mahama. Mahama. But then there was another statement that came mm. out attributed to him as I well. I want to hear him which speak. Which said um, he, will not, uh, he has not declared support for anyone. Okay. Uh, I want to hear point. him speak. Yes, All indeed. right, let's move on. Mm. What else we got? Oh, Nagrat joins others in the push for double track suspension. Mm. Uh, well, we know Angel Carbonu has um, stated that, uh, well, they weren't consulted on this. Yeah. Um, so and then uh, yeah. he also says, he, you know, they want Chas mm -hmm. to state its position on this. Indeed. Yeah. You know, Chas had a meeting in Tamale, and it was following that meeting that the people of Ghana got informed mm -hmm. about this double track system and, and the new semester system that is uh, proposed. But um, Angel Carbonu said from the beginning they were not consulted. Um, now, Interestingly, uh, the spokesperson for the Ministry of Education was on Ghana Connect on Friday, which I hosted, and he said that if the people of Ghana say they don't want it, it won't happen. How uh, do the people of Ghana show their opposition to uh, I to don't it? know. I don't know. Okay. Facebook. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. All right, then what else have we got? Um, demonstrate honesty, integrity, sound knowledge of law. Ekupuado says this to newly appointed judges that mm. happened yesterday yeah. and also government to issue 5.7 million CD bond to support newly created consolidated banks. Basically mm. you and I are going to pay for the wrongs done by private 
individuals, right? What else have we got? Hot audio ignore hmm. Oyata's dead opinion on free SHS. This free SHS matter. Eh? <laughs> uh, Man uh, was on it's fire. It's a gift that <laughs> keeps on giving. <laughs> so apparently the Minister for Information considers the Minister of Finance's opinions on free SHS dead. The Minister of Finance, the person who will actually have to put together the money. But he is not um, the education minister. I think that was the essence of the, the import what, of what, what he said. So then you and I should stop talking about it too, because <laughs> we are not the education minister. Let's move on real quick. We want to make some time and talk about Zimbabwe as well. Mm. So Mahama said, if you haven't been president, don't criticize Three banks the obtained licenses under false pretense, two others beyond saving. Bank of Ghana, Governor. Kujo yeah. has a lot more conversation. Roland is off. Uh, to have a conversation on that as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, would we see some sanctions? Would we see people in prison? Would we see people being punished for uh, you know, uh, their actions, the reason we are here today? Mm. Let's finish our full Bank of Ghana statement. Five banks dissolved. You can catch yep. up. Uh, and uh, almost all the stories uh, on the page we've touched on. You can always go to myjohnline.com. Right. Just before um, those messages, uh, one story on the Daily Statement's front page is New Ameri deal is off. They claim that their sources at the presidency tell them that um, the president has decided to cancel. This the is the statesman. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Okay, yes. it means yes. a lot. The Ameri deal. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll okay, see if that's true. let's merge your messages and then we will give you <laughs> an updates of uh, Zimbabwe. So it's interesting you said consolidated because somebody said consolidated three. What a lovely way to start the show. On a more <laughs> serious note, I think there's something sinister going on in our beloved country. Time will tell, you see. You mm. didn't include your name, uh, but thank you for your message. This one says, uh, good morning, Ghanaians. We have to give the new EC boss and her deputies a breathing space to operate. They need to start preparations for the creations of the new regions. Zion in Wa. Looking forward to them settling down and working. This one says, your show is international one. <laughs> and you aren't able to read the messages. Okay, well, well there you go. Haruna, we just read your uh, message, yeah, right? Yeah, I have read mm. your messages. Okay, uh, your message this morning, at least. This one says, uh, minority will soon boycott their own staying in the position very soon because they are trying. Uh, they try boycotting whatever comes across in opposition. Mm. Al Haj Premier in Wa sending that message. Uh, this one says. Uh, divergent views on the free SHS, but let's provide better alternatives instead of the talk because no policy will come without its challenges. Yep. It's coming from Abdullah Abdul Razak General Lamishigo in Tamale. Uh, and then I'll pick a last one and then we'll talk Zimbabwe. Uh, okay, the last one is quite long, so I'm going to skip that. Let's get on updates on Zimbabwe. Uh, they went to the polls, we're looking for positive outcome, but. Uh, on Wednesday, the situation turned different. We're picking this video from the BBC uh, on uh, some of the violent clashes. Patrick, are you with me? Okay. Uh, so opposition supporters went on rampage in Harare. The video is coming up in a bit. Angered by delayed presidential results and ZANU-PF's parliamentary victory, uh, the ruling party gained a two-thirds majority in the parliamentary poll. Now, military deployed to end clashes. At least one person killed. Presidential results still to be declared. Opposition candidate Nelson Chamisa insists he won. President Emerson Emunagagwa calls for peace. Uh, so these are some of the pictures captured by the BBC, but there's actually a video down there. As we roll down, we're going to play back that video to, uh, to you. Government crackdown in Zimbabwe after Monday's elections uh, has prompted international calls for restraints. Uh, the UN and former colonial power in the UK both expressed concern about the violence in which three people were killed after troops opened fire. So this is it, captured by the BBC, uh, the violence.
Okay, so um, Zimbabwe doesn't deserve this, obviously. We pray that, uh, I don't know, it will be a different story today. At least very early this morning, we're told things were quiet, not as uh, the scenes were yesterday. So uh, hopefully hmm. it, will be, it will be good today. It's a bit of a worry, Just, you know. It's yeah. the first time that Zimbabwe has invited uh, external observers Mm. to um, look at what they're doing in an election in many years. Uh, so you would have thought that that would give people a bit of confidence in the outcome. Uh, but it appears that uh, many people simply do not believe that uh, Zanu PF could even win the parliamentary. Mm. You know, they've election, got a let alone presidential. Yeah, they've got 70% uh, of those seats declared. On the front page of the Daily Dispatch, they mm. have with 33 more seats to be declared Zanu PF. 122 they've got those seats which mm. represent 70 percent and then the mdc uh, has 53 representing 30 percent that's right so no matter so what happens even if mm. mdc wins the remaining 33 according to these results uh the, the winner of the parliamentary uh, election is zanu pf mm. uh, people don't seem comfortable yeah. with that outcome. Um, but, uh, you know, let's hope that something can be done to make people mm. feel a bit more confident yeah. in what uh, is being reported. Uh, okay. Uh, so, um, so, okay. So I'm being corrected on something I said, which I appreciate very much. The former Chancellor of the University of Ghana was Mr. Kofi Annan. And Ki Nimo at the UCC sends me this. Thank you very much uh, for the message. Kiko. There are a lot more messages. Uh, this one says... Um, okay, Vincent Chikpo from Mamprobi, Mamprobai. Mm. I acknowledge your message. Thank you very much for the feedback. Uh, but just to say that there's a public lecture uh, happening in Takaradi today. Business and culture, Ghana in a uh, Ghana in the global business environment. That's the theme. Uh, but the speaker is Nana Kobina in Ketsia the fifth is uh, happening at the best western plus atlantic hotel in takradi it's part of the second d takradi chamber of commerce and industry and i thought that i would share uh, good morning to my very good friend vincent Anand and your wife mm, hi yeah. vincent and good morning to all of you who have uh, taken the time to join us it's always mm. a pleasure coming up first is sports and then after that so much more on the Consolidated Bank. Can I apologize for my no-show yesterday? Because oh. we talked about it. We were really excited. Mm. I was looking forward and then, you know, the happen. technology decided not to pick me. I know, you know? it's a pity. But we're yeah. going to remedy that situation today <laughs> because Mama V has been speaking to... And the, the Mene. Mene. Yeah. Now we know, right? So she so says it depends. On you know. what? Which so part of the world you are in? her father is Ashanti mm -hmm. and, and uh, her mother is fancy right. so it depends on who is pronouncing it then the pronunciation changes is that true so yeah. what's, uh, what does the Ashanti i didn't ask <laughs> <laughs> okay right. otherwise I mean stay tuned. And <laughs> anyway so uh, but she's such a lovely person oh my god i'm not surprised yeah. i'm not surprised she seems very nice i've never met her i'd love the opportunity you should but you certainly had a great time with her yesterday and that conversation will come to you today all right so stay tuned for that in addition to bringing you everything about the Consolidated Bank. By the way, Norvan and Philip from the Joy Business team will be joining me <laughs> and we will be <laughs> chewing up and spitting out all the details <laughs> of this particular matter. Stay tuned. That's all after sports. <laughs>